They launch faster than you can blink, tear through the clouds and rewrite the limits of speed itself. From cutting edge stealth predators guarding our skies to Cold War monsters built to outrun missiles and cheat death, these are the eight fastest jet fighters in the world. Ranked from lightning fast to, you won't believe it's real. But this isn't just about raw numbers. It's about secret programs buried in classified files. Pilots who dance with the edge of physics. And machines so powerful, the air itself can't keep up. And trust me, you'll be shocked when you see number one. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like button. It helps us beat the YouTube algorithm. Number eight, F-22, Raptor, reaching speeds of 1,500 miles per hour, Mach 2.25. The F-22 Raptor isn't just a fighter jet, it's a phantom, a predator you never see coming until it's too late. On paper, it's only Mach 2.25, but the Raptor's real weapon is something most jets can't even dream of, Super Cruise. That means it can sustain supersonic speeds around Mach 1.8 without afterburners. No blinding exhaust, no giant infrared signature. Just a silent, invisible hunter slipping through the sky. Powered by twin Pratt & Whitney F-119 engines, the Raptor's thrust-to-weight ratio is so high, it can leap from takeoff to 50,000 feet in under a minute. Its thrust vectoring nozzles let it twist, pivot, and flip in ways that defy aerodynamics. Maneuvers that leave even veteran pilots disoriented in simulated dogfights. What makes it lethal isn't speed alone, but the fact that you never see it on radar until it's already got missile lock. By then, the fight's over. The F-22 doesn't just win fights, it erases them before they happen. Whispers from inside Edwards Air Force Base tell of test flights where the Raptor exceeded its official top speed without afterburners, hitting velocities that would quietly place it among the top five fastest jets on Earth. But the exact numbers? still buried in classified vaults. Number seven, Chengdu J-20 Mighty Dragon, clocking in at 1,535 miles per hour, Mach 2 plus. China's answer to the F-22, the J-20 is a long-range stealth interceptor with a focus on speed and first strike capability. Nicknamed the Mighty Dragon, this aircraft represents China's leap into fifth generation fighter technology, combining stealth, advanced avionics, and raw power into one intimidating package. Its current engines push it past Mach 2, but Chinese engineers are already working on a next-generation power plant called the WS-15. If successful, this engine could push the J-20 closer to Mach 2.5, giving it a performance edge that would place it among the fastest operational fighters in the world. The J-20's design tells its own story. With its long, sleek fuselage, angular stealth profile, and forward canard foreplanes, it's optimized for both speed and radar evasion. Unlike traditional dogfighters, the J-20 isn't meant to twirl around in close-range combat. Instead, it's a predator built to accelerate in a straight line, fire its weapons from long distances, and vanish before the enemy even knows what hit them. Its mission is clear, hunt enemy aircraft and high-value targets before they ever see it coming. In Chinese strategy, the J-20 is not just a fighter, it's a tool of intimidation designed to remind adversaries that the skies over the Pacific are no longer uncontested. Number six, Su-27 Flanker, flying at 1,553 miles per hour, Mach 2.35. The Soviet answer to the American F-15, the Su-27 Flanker was born during the Cold War to ensure NATO would never dominate the skies. Designed by the Sukhoi Design Bureau, this aircraft was created to chase down Western fighters and bombers at blistering speeds, and it could absolutely move. With a top speed of Mach 2.35 and a massive fuel range, the flanker wasn't just fast, it could patrol enormous stretches of Soviet airspace, ready to respond at a moment's notice. What made it especially dangerous, however, was its agility. The Su-27 could perform the kind of aerobatic maneuvers that left NATO pilots stunned, including the famous Cobra Maneuver, where the jet suddenly pitches its nose upward to nearly 120 degrees, slows almost to a stall, and then recovers in an instant. This trick allowed flanker pilots to dodge missiles or force opponents to overshoot in dogfights. It's still in service today, and modern variants like the Su-30, Su-33, 
and especially the Su-35, carry advanced avionics, thrust vectoring engines, and even greater performance, all built on the bones of the original flanker. That longevity proves just how ahead of its time the Su-27 truly was. In short, the Su-27 was not just a fighter. It was a symbol of Soviet engineering pride, a jet built to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best America could put in the air and more than capable of holding its own. Before we continue, make sure to hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. Number 5, F-15 Eagle, reaching 1,653 miles per hour, Mach 2.5. If the F-22 is a ghost, the F-15 Eagle is a gladiator. Built in the 1970s, this jet was designed with one uncompromising goal, total air dominance. Its twin Pratt and Whitney F-100 engines give it a thrust-to-weight ratio above 1 to 1, meaning it can accelerate vertically, straight into the clouds like a missile with wings. At full power, it can hit Mach 2.5 and still have enough agility to turn inside most opponents. But speed is only half the story. The F-15's combat record is unmatched. Over 100 air-to-air -air kills without a single loss. From the deserts of the Middle East to the tense skies over Eastern Europe, the Eagle has proven again and again that it doesn't just survive, it dominates. Its massive radar sees threats long before they're close, and its weapons, from AIM-7 Sparrows to modern AIM-120 AMRAMs, mean those threats rarely get close enough to return fire. In the late 1970s, during a stripped-down high-altitude test, an F-15 reportedly exceeded Mach 2.65 before the pilot was ordered to throttle back. Officially, that run never happened. Unofficially, the pilot still grins when asked. Number four, MiG-31 Foxhound, topping out at 1,864 miles per hour, Mach 2.83. Designed to defend the vast Soviet Union, the MiG-31 isn't just fast, it's a missile with a cockpit. Capable of Mach 2.83, this beast could intercept high-altitude threats like the SR-71 or American bombers before they cross the border. Its massive radar system was decades ahead of its time, able to track targets hundreds of miles away, and the Foxhound could reach those targets in minutes. Number three, MiG-25 Foxbat, capable of 2,156 miles per hour, Mach 3.2. If the MiG-31 is a missile with a cockpit, the MiG-25 Foxbat was a rocket disguised as an airplane. Born in the heat of the Cold War, it was built for one purpose, to hunt and destroy America's fastest and highest flying threats, like the SR-71 Blackbird and high-altitude nuclear bombers. Its massive Tumensky R-15 engines weren't just powerful, they were practically violent. At full throttle, the Fox Bat could hit Mach 3.2 in level flight, covering about a mile every second. But there was a catch. The heat from that speed was so extreme, the steel airframe would expand, and the engines could literally cook themselves to death. Soviet pilots were under strict orders. Never exceed Mach 2.8 unless the motherland's survival depended on it. The Fox Bat wasn't about finesse. It couldn't outturn an F-15, and it wasn't stealthy. But it didn't need to be. It was a sprinting assassin designed to launch long-range missiles at targets before they could react or even know it was coming. In 1976, the world learned just how real this threat was. Soviet pilot Viktor Belenko defected to Japan, landing his MiG-25 on a civilian airstrip. Western engineers swarmed the jet and were stunned by what they found. A radar that could fry birds mid-flight, avionics built to survive nuclear blasts, and engines that were terrifyingly overpowered for their size. Only a handful of aircraft in history could even attempt to chase the SR-71 Blackbird, and the MiG-25 was one of them. In Cold War intercept drills, it could get close enough to force the Blackbird to accelerate. And when the world's fastest spy plane has to run from you, that says something. Even today, decades after its debut, the Fox Bat remains one of the most extreme aircraft ever built. It didn't just break speed records, it redefined what fast men in the jet age. Number two, YF-12 Interceptor blasting through at 2,275 miles per hour. Mach 3.35. Everyone knows the SR-71 Blackbird. 
the uncatchable spy plane that could outrun anything in the sky. But very few know about its secret sibling, the YF-12 Interceptor. Born from the same Lockheed Skunk Works program, the YF-12 wasn't just a reconnaissance platform, it was a weapon. Armed with Hughes AIM-47 Falcon missiles, it could lock onto targets over 100 miles away and destroy them before they even crossed into U.S. airspace. In other words, it wasn't just watching the enemy, it was ready to erase them. Underneath its needle-sharp nose sat one of the most advanced radar systems of its era, capable of tracking multiple targets at the edge of the atmosphere. And powering this monster? The same Pratt & Whitney J-58 turbo ramjet engines as the SR-71, allowing it to sustain Mach 3.35 for as long as it needed. At that speed, it could cross the continental United States in under an hour. The YF-12 was so fast that in 1965, it set three world records in a single day. The highest speed for a manned jet, the highest altitude for a fighter, and the longest sustained supersonic flight. And it did all of this carrying live weapons. But despite its potential, the YF-12 never made it into mass production. Budget cuts, changing military priorities, and the shadowy rise of satellite reconnaissance ended its short career. Only three prototypes were ever built, and today, just one survives in a museum, a silent reminder of the fastest armed interceptor the world has ever seen. For a brief moment in history, this jet could have rewritten the rules of aerial combat, and had it gone into full production, it might still be holding the crown today. Number one, SR-71 Blackbird, unmatched at 2,193 miles per hour, Mach 3.3 plus. The SR-71 Blackbird isn't just the fastest plane ever built. It's a piece of science fiction that somehow exists in real life. Flying at 85,000 feet, the Blackbird cruised at over Mach 3 for hours. Faster than a rifle bullet, so high you could see the curve of the Earth. The friction from the air heated its skin to over 300 degrees Celsius, so engineers built it from titanium that could expand mid-flight. In fact, the Blackbird leaked fuel on the runway because its panels only sealed tight once it was at speed. And here's the thing. It was unarmed. No missiles, no guns. It didn't need them. When enemy radar locked on, the Blackbird didn't dodge. It simply accelerated until the missile ran out of fuel. Not a single SR-71 was ever shot down. Its engines, the Pratt & Whitney J-58s, were so advanced they functioned like turbojets at takeoff and ramjets at high speed. That's how it could maintain Mach 3 Plus without destroying itself, a feat no operational aircraft has matched since. Some say the real top speed of the Blackbird has never been revealed, and that in secret test runs, it broke every official record we know. If that's true, the numbers are still locked in vaults, guarded as tightly as nuclear codes. Even in retirement, the Blackbird remains the gold standard for speed, the aircraft that all others are measured against and none have surpassed. Remember to hit like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Your support means a lot.